What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie and today we're going to continue on apparently rotating the chair. <laughs> I'm not doing it. It's just doing it on its own. Um, we're going to continue on our top five of 2021 uh, series. This is to do with accessories. So anything that I feel is important to my fountain pen life. Um, it's a actually a, a nice variety uh, of accessories. Um, one of which I believe I got very early on in 2021 or the end of 2020. I can't quite remember. I feel like it was the end of 2020. Uh, but one of them for sure I got in 2021. The rest uh, have been mentioned in pretty much every uh, accessory video I've done um, because I think they are absolutely critical to the fountain pen life. Um, critical as in you can't use fountain pens without them? No, but critical as in will dramatically uh, better your experience with fountain pens? Yes. So I have a notebook, a case, a holdery thing, and some cleaning stuff, a whole wide variety of things. So let's just jump into it. Um, none of these five have a particular five, like it's not like one is better than the other, it's just my favorite five. Uh, in fact, they're my five that pretty much could not live without. <laughs> uh, so the first one uh, is the one that basically makes it look like I'm a drug addict uh, when I have a whole bunch of these out sitting on my counter. <laughs> that is uh, some ink syringes. So I have five, I have six of them um, that I just kind of keep handy. I use these for a variety of reasons. Uh, I use them for helping to clean out uh, like piston fountain pens, um, things like that. So what I'll do actually is I'll take one of my pens here. Let's just say the, I'll take out an Aurora Optima. So let's say I'm cleaning this guy out. Uh, you can unscrew the nib housing. So what I'll do is um, to flush out the body of the thing, I'll just take this, fill it up with water, insert the pen here. Doop, 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 doop. And I've actually done a, a video of cleaning this flush it out with water. You do that a couple times and then this is perfectly clean, good to go. Uh, and then you can clean the um, nib and feed separately and it just makes your life so much easier uh, for cleaning. Uh, I also use it to fill up uh, cartridges. Um, so right now in both of the Caveco pens I have inked up, I have the um, push converter, but they come with little um, Con um, converters here, not converters, uh, cartridges rather, um, that you can use if you don't have a converter. Uh, and what I'll do is just literally like suck up some ink, put it in the converter, squeeze it on down there, and Bob's your uncle. Uh, and the little needle guys here, they're just blunt tip syringes, so there's nothing, nothing to it. You're not going to hurt yourself. Um, and you don't have to discard after use. <laughs> um, but these are really, really handy for just so many things. Um, so I always have a bunch of those and they clean out really easy. You just kind of like flush a bit of water through it and you're good to go. Um, so these are really handy. Uh, I've only replaced them once um, since I've got them back in like 2014, 2015. Uh, and that's only because eventually they will start to stain. They're still 100% perfectly fine to use. Um, it's just, they're not very expensive. So I replaced them every once in a while. Um, obviously I purchased these from Goulet pens, but pretty much every fountain pen uh, company will have them. Uh, another thing that pretty much every fountain pen company will have and every drugstore, every everywhere, some booger suckers. <sighs> um, <laughs> so these also are very, very handy for cleaning uh, because you can put them into a nib unit and flush out just tons and tons and tons and tons of water. Uh, rather than like unscrewing, screwing, screwing, unscrewing, screwing, like uh, your pen to just flush it through like you would fill it up with ink. Um, I have a couple of these uh, where I have cut the line here um, to fit different nib housing units, um, but they're super, super, super handy to clean. Um, so basically what you do uh, is I'll take, I don't know, my Pilot Custom 74, you just unscrew it, you take out the converter so that you just have like the nib housing unit, take the bulb syringe, 
stick it in the butt end. And this is actually a pen that I'll have one where I've cut farther down because there's a little insert on the end of pilots um, where if you don't water, like it won't make a good seal. So water will come out here. Um, but then you just flush it like this. You just suck this up with water and then you go and it just comes right out. Uh, so it makes your cleaning so much faster, so much faster. Uh, and then what I like to do as well, when the pen is cleaned up and dry, sorry, not dry. Um, what I'll do is I'll empty one of these. I'll kind of like squish it like this to create the vacuum here, put it in, and then I'll actually suck up some of the water that's just sitting in that housing so that when I leave it on my counter to dry out for a little bit, it won't take as long because it's not saturated with water on the inside. So those are my two that are pretty much always in my top five. Um, because I don't think that you can really clean your pens in a, in a way that doesn't make you want to blow your brains out without them. <laughs> so those two are pretty much always there. Highly recommend. They are not expensive whatsoever. Uh, so do pick them up if you have not already. The other three are more expensive. <laughs> they are not necessary whatsoever. I just like them. They fit really well into my life. Um, and actually, now that I'm looking at them, they're all from Galen Leather, but they're not necessary from Galen Leather. It's just where I happened to purchase them. Um, but you can get like, like-minded things anywhere you want. Um, I purchased a pen holder specifically for my Quebecos. So they'll really fit any pocket pen, uh, but these ones were marketed for the Quebecos and I have a sickness when it comes to Quebecos. I absolutely love them. In fact, I now have too many uh, fountain pen Quebecos to even fit in here. Um, so that's a thing because this holds 13. I believe two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. It's 14. Yeah. Uh, I have 13 in here. I have two that are inked. So uh, yeah, I have a problem. <laughs> but because I have a problem, this fits that solution quite nicely. Um, I love the feel of the leather, the build quality, absolutely everything. Um, I've done a full review of everything here if you want to see like details about it. Um, but this is a must in my life because I don't want to store these in the same way as I store all my other pens, uh, which you'll see in my 2021 fountain pen collection. Reason being is because it would take up far too much room. <laughs> so this way I can just store them all in one place, zip it up, um, and then that's all the space it takes up. So this is really critical in my life, um, but 100% not necessary. I do recommend a case of some sort, uh, but definitely not necessary. This just happens to be a top five for me. Um, another one that is not super necessary, but I love anyways, uh, is their little honeycomb holder. I just shook the table, I'm sorry. Uh, which again, I've done a full review of, and it is just this little guy here. And the reason why I like it is because as you can see, it holds more than just pens. <laughs> um, so the sample vials you get from Van Ness pens are a little too big uh, for this, but it just holds them nice and steady. You can actually fill your pens here um, and it keeps it quite nice. As you see, the ones that I get from Goulet pens sits in really, really nice. Um, so it makes it super, super handy to fill your pens from the vial without feeling like you could potentially knock it over. Um, I have two Retro 51 ball points in here, a Sharpie that I keep because it's the holiday season, so I'm using it quite a bit, and then all of the actual fountain pens that I have currently inked up. Um, so that's pretty much what I use this guy for. Um, is any ink samples that I have on the go, uh, and any pens that I'm actively using uh, that aren't in storage. Um, so it's it's nothing too, too fancy. It's just a chunk of wood, bunch of holes in them <laughs> that you can put stuff in. So in case you're curious, just for funsies, I got uh, Robert Oster's Silent Night um, from Van Ness Pens, which like I said, don't fit great in here, but for sitting on your desk, it's, it's more than enough. I got a uh, Diamine Blue Edition Gingerbread, Platinum Carbon Black, uh, I've got Diamine Polar Glow, 
and Twisby Midnight Blue. Uh, like I said, I got the two Retro 51s and I got a Sharpie and I've got my Pilot Falcon. I've got my Pilot 823, an Aurora Optima and two Caveco fountain pens. Um, so that's uh, something that I keep on my desk pretty much all the time. I keep the samples facing the back so I don't have to, because I don't grab them as often. And then I keep usually just my pens in the front. Um, and then it just sits on my desk and it is the handiest little tool um, for all of my fountain pen needs. Um, I highly, highly recommend that you check something like that out uh, if you do have more than one pen or two pens on the go. Um, when I initially bought it, I didn't even think about the sample thing. And that's just been a discovery since I've even done my review uh, and it's really handy. So I like it quite a bit. So the fifth final thing that I have in my top five is again from Galen Leather, but you 100% do not need to get it from Galen Leather. Anything will do, uh, but it's just a random notebook. This is not a notebook that I journal in. This is not like anything. This is literally a scrap notebook. I mean, it's just got doodles, random swabs, like nothing. This is what I use to test a lot of my inks on. This is what I use to do all my writing samples for you guys. Um, it's what I do like swabs on when I get new things. Um, it's Tomway River paper. It's 52 GSM. I don't care that it's thin. I put random stickers all over it. Um, so it's just like, it's a fun little notebook um, that is a necessity for me. Um, I'll doodle in it. Um, like I said, I do all of my things for you guys in it. Um, it's just full of quick brown boxes. Uh, I test new ink colors on it. I test new pens in it. Basically anytime I wanna write stuff, but I don't want a journal or anything like that, this is what I use. Um, I've used many variations of this. Again, this one happens to be from Galen Leather, but I've used the A5 ones from Goulet Pens. They're phenomenal. Um, basically A5 is my is my jam, um, but I like the like not super thick, not super expensive, just random soft cover um, booklets. I like them much better than pads of paper. Uh, because those usually end up falling apart or you pull the pad out. And then at the end, when this is full, um, I just kind of look over it, enjoy it for a day or so, and then I recycle it uh, and start a brand new one. Um, I like the fact that the paper gets super, super crinkly. That to me is just pleasure. Um, <laughs> like I said, I put stickers all over it. I have no other use for stickers than this, but everyone seems to send them out. So I love the fact that over time it becomes full of stickers. And usually this lasts me for like over a year per, per notebook. So this is an absolute must. This is a must. This is a must. This is a must. And this is a must for me in 2021 and probably forever. Like I said, the syringes and the um, bulb, actually they're both syringes regular syringe and bulb syringe, um, they are a 100% must. If you have not tried them, do it. <laughs> uh, but the others aren't like 100% necessary. They just make my life better. Um, they make my fountain pen life experience much better. So those are my top five uh, for 2015. Have you used any of them? Did you like them? Did you hate them? What are your top five? Uh, leave, leave them in the comment section down below. Um, guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great holiday season and or had a great holiday season. Uh, you're healthy and happy and safe and all of that good stuff. Uh, hit the like and subscribe, everything that the tubers tell you to do these days. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye.